What is up guys, Austin Nurcho here and today we're unboxing the BAM box for July 2017. Um, so go ahead and open this. I don't remember what the theme is, but I do believe they um, sent out a thing saying that this will probably be the last month that they do a theme um, because they don't like having to stick to a certain theme. Um, so I, like I said, I don't remember what it is, but I do see the pin right here. So go ahead and do that because it will say, um, so it says... I don't know what it says. Oh, here on the back it says Heroes and Villains, Animal Influence. So that reminds me. So we have a Gorilla Grodd pin, which is really cool because we've never had something like that. But there's, of course, a, he's a gorilla and he has um, his, like, isn't it like a, a mind control hat on or something, bro? Helmet. Yes. Helmet, yeah. And this is limited release of 1,000 pins. And it is, well, this one says oh, only 1,000 made. Um, it doesn't say what number it is, but it's on there somewhere. It says there's a number telling which limit this one is. But it says limited edition, so I don't know if that's like a super rare one or if it's just the one you get in the box. But um, that is awesome. Um, next up, we have a patch, which you'll like this one, bro. It's the Thundercats logo. Thundercats! Oh! Um, so that's an awesome, again, it's a patch. Um, again, they're doing these patches that I like the design, but of course they're patches. So again, we have no, I have no clue what to do with them. But they're I like the designs they do with them. They have really nice detailed patches. Of course, this is the Thundercats logo. So I don't know if they like just make these or if they um, have someone because you know I don't know if it's licensed or not. But it looks really good and like the Thundercat logo. So that's awesome. Um, then we got this box. I don't know what's in it. There's nothing on it, but let's see. Um, I don't know. What this is, it's some sort of metal on leather, but it's got the um, Ravenclaw logo from um, the Harry Potter house. I don't know if you can see all the detail in there on it. Um, but yeah, it's Ravenclaw, so it has a little um, raven sitting in between it. It's got a knight armor. Um, so I don't know what this is. I mean, surely, well, there'll be some. Um, hopefully, if we get like a book or paper or something that tells exactly what this is. But yeah, it's just on like a um, like heavy, thick piece of leather. Hell, <laughs> that is. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know what it is, um, but it's kind of cool. Um, not sure how I feel, but like it's cool, but weird at the same time. Oh, this is awesome. So next up, we got another little box. It's like they're giving us a bunch of jewelry or something. Um, but we got a box, and this has dog tags in it. And can you guess what's on the dog tags? Wolverine. Exactly. They are Wolverine's dog tags. So it says Wolverine on one side and Logan on the other. Of course, has all sorts of numbers. There, I don't know what all the numbers represent, so that said Wolverine, that side says Logan. Again, I can't tell what the light you, you can see or not. But they're two of the same, so I don't know what the difference is. It's what they do on dog tags. Oh, but yeah, so there's like, Once. you know, a separate little set and then that. So that's awesome that they made Wolverine's dog tags. That's awesome. And they um, somewhat look like the ones, like the kind they always show in the movie and stuff. Um, a little bit different, but still look pretty similar to that. So that's awesome. That was pretty cool. Um, we got a one-up thing, which is, I don't know if they're going to continue doing this. So they just started doing this again, but I don't know. They're, when their new update it didn't say if they were going to do it. Um, but just as you got a one-up card, you have an upgraded or limited edition item in your box. Um, usually it says what it is, so I don't know if this is it or it could be something else, but I'm sure we'll find out at some point. So we'll go ahead and get to what looks like our pictures now. So first up we have it looks like a Spider-Man with uh, Gwen Stacy, probably, after she died. Um, it says, this is uh, Bambox fan art collection art print, Death of Gwen, St Gwen Stacy. Um, has been si hand signed by artist Logan Pack and is guaranteed to be authentic. So it says back. So, of course, there's his logo there. Or logo. Signature. <laughs> Autograph signature there. And it's number 848 out of 3,000. So that is awesome. Um, kind of a big part in the Spider-Man story um, right there. So that's an awesome picture to have. And then we have something else. I assume it's a picture of some sort. Oh, that's cool. It's a picture of Teen Titans. So, of course, the Teen Titans show Teen Titans. And it says an 8x10 has been hand signed by Greg Sipes, who voiced Beast Boy in Teen Titans. So that's awesome. We got a Beast Boy. It would be kind of cool if you signed you know, on Beast Boy to... So it is. It looks more like cyborg by where it's located, but of course that picture is awesome of the Teen Titans, and then it's autographed by Beast Boy, which is an awesome character. So that is really cool, and it says um, it's a guy, but it looks a lot like a girl in the back. Like even the facial features look like a girl in there. 
So, I don't know. But that's an awesome picture. And we did get a paper here. So let's see what we got. So we have... Um, so first start out right with the pin. If I can find it on here. So we have the pin. And so it looks like there were three gorilla influence. So you could have got King Kong. Or what I assume to be King Kong. Yeah. Um, gorilla Grodd. Which is awesome for us at least. And then a limited edition one was um, 25... Or sorry. To... 20, 250 and it was a Donkey Kong so go ahead and show all those options there so I like the like those two just because they're more more um, like full bodied but the Gorilla Grodd to me is the best one out of that then of course we got the Wolverine dog tags prop, repl prop replica dog tags which again is awesome that we got those and it looks like possibly our um, upgraded item was the print I'm not sure what is upgrade, but I don't know if just because of the colors, if that's why what is upgraded. But it shows there's um, the green one you could have got, and we got the red one at the bottom. It doesn't say if there's a difference, but that's my only indication. Then we got the Death of Gwen Stacy, which there was a limited edition like black and white version that you could have gotten. Um, the Hogwarts pin, or school crest. Um, let's see... It just says that you get a house. That's all it says. It doesn't say what this is. So just like a badge that you can like carry around to show which house you're in. Um, so we are Ravenclaw apparently. Which is fine with me. That's awesome. And then of course our Thundercats. It says... Oh I guess it doesn't say what I thought it said. Um, but we got our, of course our Thundercats. And it says Thunder, Thunder, Thundercats, ho. Um, so that was awesome. Uh, so bro, what was your favorite item out of this box? Uh, I don't know. I I really like a lot of the stuff in the box. Yeah. I mean, my opinion is everything's not, like, awesome and amazing, but it's all really good. Like, probably one of my favorite things is probably this picture, just because I like the color and the design of the Teen Titans, and, of course, it's autographed. Um, I like the pin, because of Gorilla Grodd. I think the dog tags, which, I mean, they're... I don't know what to do with them. That's why I'm saying it's not, like, amazing. But they're still really cool and something I will, like, hang on and keep just because it's, you know, a proper replica. Um, I know Bro likes the Thundercat patch, and I think that's an awesome, like, really nice looking. I like this because I'm a Harry Potter fan, so having this, I just don't know what, why the whole leather thing. I could have just used this in, like, a pin or something like that. And then this picture is also really nice of the death of Gwen Stacy. So this box was... Overall, in my opinion, a really good box. And I give it two thumbs up. Um, so Bandbox has really um, kind of like flipped their stuff around for us. Like at first, you know, it was okay and decent. But over the past couple months, each box has been getting really good. And like I said, they're switching now to um, not have any stick to any theme. It's just going to have, you know, an autograph. Pretty much the same stuff as it does. But just kind of like random whatever they can get instead of trying to stick to a certain theme and running into issues like they did a month or so ago um, where they, you know, couldn't get an item and everything. Uh, but that's going to be it for this BAM box unboxing. So if you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up, leave any comments you have down below, and hit the red subscribe button to see more. And we'll see you next time.